Here is a quick walkthrough of my new studio build. I've got two lights hanging from the new Vera poles that I put up. I added a center arm. This will be for the Obspot Tiny 2 light PVZ camera that's going to be looking down at the desk. One thing I didn't anticipate is with this equipment hanging so far in the air this way, it's putting pressure to rotate this varipole in that direction. So it wants to spin because these clamps are on there hard. <laughs> They're not letting go. Um, so I rigged this up in the wood shop as a counter to that force. So it stops it from rotating that way. It's ugly, but it works. It's just tension. You know, I did put cardboard on the top so it wouldn't scar the surface. I have artwork here that'll go on the walls, add to cart, and five and a half, four and a half stars. I just wanted it to be half so you knew it was a rating system and wasn't like, you know, military rank or anything like that. Ignore the garbage here, ignore the garbage there. I'm gonna find a place for that. I've got a green flood lamp on the back. Most of the equipment I already had on hand. I did buy the two Vera poles and just this arm, but everything else I've cannibalized from other parts of the house. I bought the sit stand desk as well. This will kind of be what you see on camera with the camera. I imagine the artwork in the background. You know, you don't realize that a shot like this a final shot like that has someone <laughs> looking at all of this gear. <laughs> and of course there'll be a camera on a tripod there. Oh, look at that. That's my, that's my nice craft desk, which I finally finished with the walnut trim around the edge. Super solid, but that's not what we're here to talk about. This is the new studio. I'm super excited. I hope to make videos this weekend and launch my side hustle doing Amazon review videos exclusively on the Amazon platform. And this is kind of what you'll see. I'm digging it. Hope you dig it too. Let me know what you think.